Hey there, bull market bully fam. Welcome back to the channel where we break down the best stocks in the market. Today, we're diving into Salesforce Inc. CRM, one of the giants in the cloud-based CRM space. If you're into tech stocks or just curious about where the future of business software is heading, then stick around. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Trust me, you won't want to miss the bonus tip at the end of this video that could help you level up your investment game. Let's kick things off with a financial overview of Salesforce. The company has been a powerhouse in the CRM industry, boasting revenue of $36.74 billion over the trailing 12 months. Not only that, but Salesforce has a profit margin of 15.30% and an operating margin of 18.80%, which shows strong profitability despite the intense competition. On the growth front, Salesforce has reported quarterly revenue growth year over year of 10.70%. That's pretty solid, especially in a market where every tech company is vying for dominance. And let's not forget their EBITDA of $9.88 billion and a net income of $5.47 billion, demonstrating robust financial health. By the way, if you're finding this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Bull Market Bully. We've got more deep dives into top stocks coming your way, and you won't want to miss them. Next up, let's talk about the market trends and where Salesforce stands among its competitors. Salesforce continues to dominate the CRM space, recognized as the world's number one CRM provider by multiple analysts. Their unified platform offers a comprehensive 360-degree view of customers, making it indispensable for businesses that need seamless collaboration across departments. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Salesforce faces stiff competition from the likes of Microsoft Dynamics 365, HubSpot, Oracle CX Cloud, Zendesk, and SAP Customer Experience. These competitors are carving out their niches by offering more specialized or streamlined solutions, particularly for smaller businesses that find Salesforce's platform too complex or costly. Looking ahead, Salesforce's future prospects are a mix of opportunities and challenges. On the bright side, Salesforce is heavily investing in AI capabilities and expanding its ecosystem with strategic acquisitions like Slack. They've also announced the opening of their first AI center in London, which signals their commitment to staying ahead of the curve in tech innovation. But there are challenges too. Recent workforce adjustments and concerns over financial performance have led to some investor unease. Add to that the complexity of their platform and the high total cost of ownership, and you've got a company that, while still a market leader, needs to be mindful of the competitive pressure. So, should you invest in Salesforce? Here are a few strategies to consider. If you're a long-term investor, Salesforce's dominance in the CRM space, coupled with its innovation in AI, makes it a solid pick. However, if you're more of a value investor, you might want to be cautious. The P.E. ratio is quite high, suggesting the stock is pricey compared to its earnings. Consider waiting for a potential dip or exploring dollar cost averaging to build your position over time. And now, for the final grade. Salesforce CRM gets an A-. It's a leading player in its field with strong growth prospects, but the high valuation and recent challenges keep it from getting a perfect score. However, if you believe in the future of cloud-based solutions and AI, Salesforce is definitely worth keeping an eye on. And as promised, here's your bonus tip. Consider leveraging the power of sector rotation to maximize your returns. Tech stocks like Salesforce can be highly cyclical, often outperforming during periods of economic growth, but underperforming during downturns. By keeping an eye on the broader market and understanding which sectors are poised for growth, you can strategically shift your investments to take advantage of these cycles. This strategy not only helps in managing risk, but also ensures you're always positioned to benefit from the strongest sectors in the market. Remember, it's not just about picking the right stocks, it's about picking the right time to be in the right sectors. Happy investing. Thanks for tuning in, Bull Market Bully Fam. If you found this review helpful, smash that like button, drop a comment with your thoughts on Salesforce, and don't forget to subscribe for more stock insights and tips. Catch you in the next one.